All right, working on the uh, beetle some more. Um, this time, working on the uh, getting the cylinder head studs put back into the case. Now, a lot of people, whenever they um, you know strip the engine down, they may not take these studs out um, because of uh, how tight they are in the case already. Um, a lot of time, they've got some kind of lock tight or something like that. Um, but the one thing that we didn't realize when we took them all out, we took a picture of it together, but we didn't note that um, there are different uh, length of the studs. And so as you can see here, we've got the, uh, the case. Um, we've got the crank and everything all put in the distributor. These are your cylinder head studs. Some um, manufacturers might call them case studs. Uh, I don't like that because you've actually got case studs here uh, to bolt the case together. And so um, I would probably venture to say that 9 out of 10 of the uh, man, you know, uh, retailers and such will call these guys um, cylinder head studs uh, because ultimately your cylinders will fit down over it and then your cylinder heads right there will go on top of that. Now, as we were going through it, we noticed that we had different lengths of these, um, these studs. And you have long, uh, medium, and short. And uh, we searched all over the internet. We couldn't really find what the order was supposed to be, and perhaps it was just common sense. Uh, so what we ended up doing was looking at the cylinder heads, and we figured out what it was supposed to be. So on these, as you can see, they're all different lengths. You've got these on the back, which actually this is the bottom. Uh, this is turned sideways, as you can see. So this is the bottom of the, uh, the engine. Um, the bottom row here, these four, uh, are going to be long ones. Uh, and that's going to be on both sides, both the right side here and the left side there. Um, you're going to have a total of eight long ones to go on the bottom. But then there is kind of a little you know, wrench in the middle here, there's a ninth long one. And that ninth one, I'm gonna end up turning the, uh, the uh, engine over here so you can see. There we go. So as you can see, I've rotated it about 180 degrees. Uh, the ninth long one actually goes right here uh, in front of um, cylinder number three. As you can see, there's a hole there. And that ninth one, ninth long one, goes into that hole. It's real deep, and then it's threaded in the bottom. Uh, and as you can see, if I come over here, you can see it's very similar. We've got four of the long on the bottom, and then this is going to be your ninth long one. And then you have three mediums, and the mediums go on the top row on the outside. So we've got one medium right here, and then down here on the other side, we've got two medium and three medium. Those go on the top row on the outsides. And then on the top row of the insides are your shorts. You have four shorts. One, two, three, and four. So again, you've got uh, four long on each side on the bottom, the bottom row. One, two, three, four, bottom row. One, two, three, four, bottom row. And then the ninth long one is going to be on the left side of your case here in front of cylinder number three. Right here, there's a deep hole. And again, this is a Type 1. This is a 1600cc uh, engine. Uh, it's uh, right here, cylinder 3. Uh, that's going to be a long one. And then your mediums are going to be on the outside. Um, there's only one on the left side. And then on the right side, on your outside, one, two. And then on the center are your two shorts and two shorts. So uh, hopefully that will help some of you in case you ever have, happen to pull them out. The way that we ended up pulling them out, you can do one of two things. You can either um, put two nuts down on the top of these things to lock them together and then begin to peel them out. You just got to be really careful on these things because some of the cases might not have uh, case savers. Um, ours did. Case savers are basically just uh, another thread that um, these guys go into. So as you can see, it's kind of, there's, it almost looks like a washer down there at the bottom. That's actually the case saver. So as you start to pull it out, it would actually pull that case saver out, which is another threaded um, unit that goes down into it, um, which really helps. And that way you don't, you know, mess up your entire case here. Uh, and so to get them out, we actually ended up using a pipe wrench on these guys because they were so stubborn. Um, we didn't want to mess up the threads on the end, and uh, so we used a, a small pipe wrench. 
uh, put it down as low as we could and uh, just, you know, used some some leverage and it finally uh, uh, ended up coming out. Uh, but once they come out, you just got to make sure that uh, you put them back in in the right order. Uh, we also chose to put Loctite on the threads on the bottom because they're not we're not planning on taking them out uh, ever again. So and as you can see, we ended up spraying these. Um, basically, what I did is uh, I just held the end with a piece of paper um, and uh, sprayed it so that I didn't get a whole lot of spray on the threads. Uh, and that way we can match the, these rods to the case because the cylinders are black and they're going to go over it and that way it'll stand out. So uh, that's basically it for, um, you know, your cylinder head stud installation.